Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We've got some huge news already. I thought Demon Hunter was too strong. You guys thought Demon Hunter was too strong. And now Blizzard thinks Demon Hunter is too strong because they're going to be nerfing it. And they're going to be nerfing it today, which is incredibly fast. Uh, I don't think we've ever seen nerf this quickly. Even with Galakron Shaman, I believe it was a little bit longer. But, yep, yeah, they're going to be nerfing four cards. We don't know exactly what they're going to be changing with those cards, but we know which cards they are. So this came out from a tweet from the lead designer of Hearthstone, and I agree with what he's writing. He's, he, he basically said we're looking at um, adjusting these four cards, and over the next few weeks they're going to be looking at Demon Hunter, adjusting it, trying to make it um, a fun and powerful class, but not too over overpowered and make it a fair class. Now, they do have another patch planned for next week, so there will be any kind of further updates done next week. But there is going to be an update today to four cards in particular. And those cards are the Aldraki Warblades, I-Beam, Imprisoned Antian, and Skull of Gul'dan. And I think we can all agree, if you've played Demon Hunter, all four of those cards are very good. And I think the Aldraki Warblades especially are um, a really strong card in Demon Hunter just because lifesteal it feels like it shouldn't really be in Demon Hunter but it kind of does need to be there because they would die very very easily they'd be very glass cannon if they didn't have this but the problem is they have so many ways to buff their attack um, that the Aldraki Warblades just mean that it's almost like a King's, um, King's Blade if you ever remember that uh, that was in the game from Rogue well the King's Bane now is back <laughs> But with a common card, which doesn't need to, any kind of setup, you just play it and then play other cards to go with it um, to give you some lifesteal to bounce back. So they're going to be nerfing this one. Now, what would I change it to? It's a 3 mana 2-3 at the moment with lifesteal. I think they would have to change it to 4 mana, um, but maybe even a 4 mana and 1 attack. I don't know, maybe that's taking it too far, but the 1 attack isn't really too much of an issue it just means they'll get one less heal because they they can use the hero power and other attack cards to be able to buff the attack of that weapon maybe the durability could be reduced maybe you reduce it to two durability at three mana um but something does definitely need to be changed with that and the same goes for i beam this is a very strange card for me because three mana deal three damage is basic right but three damage mana deal three damage and lifesteal is a good card but when you can easily play this card for zero mana then it is very very strong um i mean this is better than the priest version of it uh penance right and priest doesn't even can't even heal as well as um a demon hunter can so they need to be removing these sort of cards and and the other issue with eye beam is that when it costs zero mana it synergizes with all of their other cards um so because you can play outcasts you can also synergize it with the legendary that deals damage to the other minions when you play one of your left or rightmost cards. It just it, it synergizes with everything they're trying to do. It allows them to just remove your minion and play more tempo on the board, and it, it just becomes so oppressive. So what would I change to this card? I mean, maybe they would make it uh, four mana and reduce the cost of it by three, so that then it would cost one mana um, if it was in outcast. Maybe they could do that. Or maybe they could make it still cost three mana, but reduce the the, the reduction to just costing one. Um, maybe, and also maybe they could just take the life steal off of it because I think Demon Hunter would still play this card even if it didn't have um, life steal because it's really good to just like get some tempo plays, play it cheaply, destroy your opponent's minion, and then play some other minions. But the life steal just seems cheating, really. I mean, a lot of the class feels like cheating, but in this case, potentially. So I, that's kind of what I would do. I would either make it um, four mana, or make it the reduction only one uh, cost one, or I would keep it the same and just remove the life steal. I think that might be good with I beam. Uh, let's see. But I think even if you did either one of those two things, I think it still would be quite strong. Imprisoned Antien. Well, this I don't necessarily think this one needs to be nerfed it's just another card that's a victim of everything else being very strong because if, when you play this on turn five it doesn't come out till turn seven obviously so yes it's very strong don't get me wrong but i think it's because of the rest of the class is so good this one they're looking at too and yeah what can you do with this i mean there's two things you could do well there's a lot of things but firstly 
because they're making such a quick update, I don't think they'll change too much about the fundamentals of the card. And to me, that means a mana change. So a mana change would mean six mana for me. You play this on turn six, it doesn't come out till turn eight. It just makes it easier for your opponent to deal with. It means it's one turn later that you'll actually get this effect. So I think that's what they will do. But what they could also do is keep it at the same mana cost and maybe reduce the amount of damage it does. Maybe you can reduce the stats on it so that when it actually does come into play, maybe it only has four health or something. So it's easier for your opponent to clear because this isn't actually that, the minion itself isn't actually that great. Often when I'm playing against this, it's the effect that's the problem. I usually don't have problem dealing with the minion before it gets to attack because it doesn't have rush. It has to, it, when it summons, it has summoning sickness. So yeah, I think they will just change this to six mana and I think that will be enough for this card. And next is probably for me the worst offender and this is Skull of Gul'dan. Draw three cards, outcasts reduce their cost by three. So this is basically, if you think of um, Farsight in Shaman, this is three of them for five mana. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. And the problem is that it combines with so many other um, draw cards. And it, it is a different class. They want um, draw to be a strength of Demon Hunter, which I think is fine. But when you think of card like Nourish, Nourish is a really difficult card to play in certain situations because you think, oh, can I really play this? Because yes, it's going to draw me some cards. But this one is just like, yeah, you play it because the three cards you draw, you'll probably have to play that turn. If you can't, it's going to give you a huge tempo turn the next turn. And you're already drawing lots of other cards as well at the same time with your other cards that Demon Hunter has. So it's so powerful. Um, and I think they're going to have to hit this with another mana change. Um, they could even change the reduction. If they still wanted to keep the cycle fast, they could say draw three cards, uh, reduce their cost by two. Um, I still think that would be a powerful card, but I think it would be a very good start. Or if, like I said, I think they're looking for a quick update, maybe they'll change it to six mana. Um, because it doesn't feel like a lot, but whenever you make small changes, especially if you're making small changes to the other three cards we've talked about, I think it will make quite a big difference to the class as a whole. So I'm assuming this one will go to six mana as well, but they could, could really hit this one hard and push it to seven. Um, which potentially is okay. I think I'd still play it at seven mana, to be honest, because it's very strong. Um, the, the problem with card draw, though, is that card draw is such a powerful mechanic in the game. It's so important. So when you have a class that really is about drawing cards and drawing cards cheaply, it, it makes it quite difficult to balance, in my opinion. That's why the Warlock Hero Power is so powerful, is because it gives you extra card draw every turn. Well, and it... And having so much card draw means that if you're trying to do something with a deck, it means that most games you'll be able to do it because you're constantly drawing. It's not like a lot of classes where you're like, oh, I just didn't draw that. With a Demon Hunter, you don't get that as often because of all the efficient draws that they've got. So I think that's what they'll do. I think they'll make another mana change here. But wow, I mean, you'll have to let me know in the comments, guys, what you think they will do. It will be coming shortly, the changes, uh, today. Um, they haven't said what time, but they will update us on Twitter. But uh, yeah, I'd be interested to, to know what you guys would change with those cards. Um, are there any other cards that they should change? Because I, I looked at the class, I've looked at all of the cards in there, and I think if they change these four, I think that would be a good start and maybe a place that I'd be happy with. Um, because you can't nerf too much from a class at once, otherwise we don't want it to die. They're kind of in a difficult position where they've launched this brand new class and they want people to play it. There's nothing worse than when a new expansion launches and it has happened before, like the Boomstay Project was a little bit like that, and none of the cards were very good. Um, and if you've got a new class coming into the game, and it's and it was just had a bunch of tier 3 decks, people would get upset about that, and it just wouldn't be fun. But I think they've gone too far the other way, and just made it so powerful. They've made a class everybody wants to try out, very powerful, and very easy to get powerful. It wasn't very much complicated deck building, just put some cards in there, and you've got a good deck. I would potentially look at this battle fiend as something they could change having a one mana two two with an effect i don't think is a good thing um it fits well with the class because the class this is what it does it attacks with its hero um it wants to be aggressive so a one mana two two it makes sense and actually having a one mana two two with an effect is okay if it's just in one class but i just feel demon hunter being so strong potentially they could look at this um 
I don't know how they would change it though, because you can't change it to a one mana two two, because we've already got that in the game. There's a neutral that does that. So maybe they would make it a one mana two um, one, so with one health. Uh, and I think that would be much better because you know mages could ping it. Um, you could deal with it with your druid hero power, etc. So potentially they'll look at this one as well in the next week's update. But it's just these four cards they're focusing on now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. Strange times, exciting times. Like, this expansion for me has still been good. I've still been really enjoying playing it. Um, so, it definitely needs a nerf. It's not as bad as when Galakron Shaman was here, in my opinion. But let's see what they do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.